The first time I tried making a ladybug mold, I used foam and it kept expanding and cracking. So this next time I decided to use Hydrocal, which is a type of plaster, and it shouldn't have some of those same issues. Now I'm pouring plaster over the two hardened pieces in order to join them and also to round out the top. This is the real form and this is, what are we using? Polystyrene. Polystyrene, maybe about eighth inch. So, yep. and it's white, so okay, I think, I think, do you think we're ready? That's pretty good. Okay, that's real good. Okay, turn the vacuum on. Vacuum off. Oh my god. That looks really good. <laughs> that looks really good. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. This is the styrene. It's a white plastic. Um, this could be painted and it forms very well in the vacuum form. This is the clear PETG and it still forms pretty nicely. You can see here there is some buckling around the edges, but not a lot of it actually affects the actual shape of the ladybug, so it's probably going to be okay if I just cut around the shape. 